Hello loves, thank you so much for joining me and watching this video. Now today I'm on the bed to equilibrium, yes, yes, um, such an amazing geometry so I wanted to show you how to draw it and give you some more info on it. So yes, the bed to equilibrium is the most primary geometric energy array in the cosmos. So it has been termed the geometry of the unified field. Now I'm going to do a video going deeper onto the unified field theory, it's all very interesting stuff. Um, but yeah, the vector equilibrium is basically a structure, although Buckminster Fuller actually liked to call it a system. Now it's called the vector equilibrium because all of its vectors are equal from the center point so all of the lines from the center point are equal and therefore it creates the perfect condition so that and that the movement of energy comes to complete equilibrium and therefore creates stillness and nothingness and in turn it actually it's in which all other forms emerge as well. Um, so it's very powerful stuff and the ancient Egyptians actually regarded it as the mother of all geometry. So indeed it is the invisible fabric of space-time, which is amazing <laughs> um, and very special. And so yeah, Buckminster Fuller termed it the vector equilibrium. It's also known as the cube octahedron uh, purely because the it, the shape represents um, symmetries with the cube and the octahedron. And just to give you more uh, actual quote from Buckminster Fuller, um, the vector equilibrium is the zero starting point for happenings or non-happenings. It's the empty theatre and the empty circus and the empty universe, ready to accommodate any act and any audience. So they're the great words from Buckminster Fuller. Um, now, I just wanted to give you more of, a, um, more of an idea of how it would look in 3D. So, this is what I've made some geometric structures. This is, so the cube octahedron is made from eight tetrahedrons. This is a tetrahedron, one of the platonic solids. And it's also made from six half octahedrons. So this is an octahedron. Um, so eight tetrahedrons, six half octahedrons. Um, so half an octahedron is a pyramid and I love my pyramids, my rainbow pyramid, you love my pyramid? <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, so that's what it, its 3D structure is. And just to give you some more images on the 2D geometry, so this is one of my latest pieces, the Magic Manifesto. Um, and if you can see here, the, the um, vector equilibrium is all beautiful and shiny. Um, yeah, so also um, one of my newest images is some dot work that I've been working on. Um, so here is the vector equilibrium again and as you can see it's actually got the uh, so it's the six pointed star rotated so we've got a smaller six pointed star and then a larger six pointed star um, and no wonder why people use this image it's because it's got so much power to it and um, yeah powerful stuff oh also I wanted to show you what we're going to be drawing so this is what we're going to be drawing, the cube octahedron, um, so that's the form, that's the 3D structure, but yeah, so, um, so if you get your 
ruler, your pencil and your paper ready. Um, we're going to draw the vector equilibrium now and also I invite you to set an intention. Um, so I love to work with intention because it's so powerful and it's great to do things with intention because you're you're putting your consciousness into that and being like, right, this is what I want to create through this. Um, especially working with sacred geometry, you know, the vector equilibrium's got infinite amounts of potential energy in it. So, you know, this is the perfect time to set that amazing intention, something positive to happen, something you want to manifest into your life. So, yeah, please do that. And also, um, we'll be starting from the seed of life so the seed is the female version of the vector equilibrium so if you don't know how to draw the seed of life i'll put my link below to my video showing you how to draw the seed of life and then you can come back and we can draw the vector equilibrium um and yeah so so yeah so let's do this. Let's do it. Let's draw amazing, amazing sacred geometry. 